Hi there, Aquarius. This is your July 2022 reading. Let's get right into it and see what's happening in July for you guys. What's coming up? Let's see. Strength. Leo energy. What are you, um, you're tackling something. You're something, you're taking something head on. It's like, there's something you might have been a little leery about, but I feel like whatever this is, you're, you have the determination, you have the desire, and you just say, I'm just going to grab, it's like grab the bull by the horns and just do it. That'd be something if you're actually grabbing a Taurus. Okay, let's see here. Ooh, <clears throat> so here we have the tower coming in. I love this card. It's, it's a really cool tower here. Um, here is something is coming I feel like it's coming out of the woodwork airy Scorpio energy a surprise you're not expecting nevertheless it, it feels like it's gonna be something really great I'm feeling pretty good about it it might have something to do with your home for some of you but there is a surprise coming in someone might be coming to your home I'm just getting a real strong feeling about a home. Okay, let's see what else we have here. And, ooh, it feels like someone's coming out of the cold. Someone's coming out of the shadows. And with this found five of coins, five has changed. It might be someone, I feel like for some of you, are getting the strength to do something here. This also could be someone getting the strength to come to you. Take it how it resonates. But I also, I'm also i almost feeling like you're sort of focused on your own thing. Doing your own thing at this time. And you're taking something. Um, you're just doing this. You're like totally focused on doing whatever this is. Whether this is a job. Whether this is something that you're doing here. But you're focused on this. And by you being focused on this. Someone else is focused on you. And they're going to surprise you. One more here. Uh, then doing a lot of heavy thinking about you. Three of Wands. They're waiting for the opportunity to make a move here. I feel like someone's watching you very intently. Yeah, I think they might be coming towards your home. That's what I feel strongest for most people here. Okay, let me get a clarifying deck on this. Let's do this one. Why do we have a strength card here? Why is the strength card here? High Priestess. Secrets. Secret message. There's a secret message here. I don't know if there's a secret message hidden in the card. I'm trying to get more onto this. There's a secret letter. A secret document. There's something you know about here. The high priest could be Cancer Virgo energy. I feel like this is your knowing. You're aware of something. You're aware of a secret. It's so weird because it feels like you have this. This is coming up about the secret, but it has nothing to do with what you're having the strength to do. If that makes any sense. It just feels like these are two different separate things. But there is a secret here. Okay. What about the tower? Why is the tower here? Whatever this shock is, someone is moving towards you, I think. Someone might be moving in your area. Is there someone that's probably interested in you that lives at a distance? I think they're moving in your area. They're moving into your town, your city, whatever. But Or else they're just coming towards you. There's travel here. There's leaving something to come to something better. You would be the something better. This is also saying that you might be doing a lot of traveling. You might be, there might be for some of you, there might be like a su surprise trip that comes up. You're not expecting it. Also, it may be for work. You have to go fly somewhere or do something or or you know all of a sudden there might be hey Aquarius can you run over even if it's the next town can you run oh you didn't expect it might be in the middle of work or might but there's something there 
Okay, let's put, let's say something like this. Say if you're working, you're really busy, got all this work, your boss comes over to you and say, hey, Aquarius, do you mind running this over to the next town? And there you meet someone or something happens or something, or you gain knowledge. It almost feels like you might be gaining knowledge of something. So the universe is setting this up, whatever this is. Okay. What about the five of coins? Why is the five of coins here? Knight of Wands. <clears throat> this person coming towards you, it could be an Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, does not have to be. They're coming in quick. They're co it's almost, almost like they're watching you and they see an opportunity to strike and they come running over to you. <clears throat> Whether they see you out and about <clears throat> and they come running over to you or they just see that you left your house and they might secretly follow you to find out how they could accidentally bump into you. But they want to talk to you. Urgent message. I'm feeling like urgent. They urgently want to talk to you. Okay, what about this three of wands? King of swords. You could be dealing with another air sign, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. Or this could be your energy. That someone's watching you feeling like, okay, how do I approach? Are they ever going to put that sword down so I could approach? That's what it feels like. They cannot approach while the sword is up. They need the sword to be put down. They need you to be off your guard is what I'm, I'm thinking. So this, there's two people here now. Let's um get a couple of charms. Let's get a charm on this Knight of Wands. This could be two different people. It could be the same person. We have, what is, oh, an owl. Why is owl? Nighttime I get with the owl. I don't know if this person's going to approach you at night. I know they heavily think about you at night. There's also something wise that comes about at night maybe some kind of information because birds are also in um, communication let's see what about this king of swords what we have here oh the ship's wheel trying to take control and why i see that trying to steer things in their direction trying to take control there could be two different people here could be one and the same for some of you hmm here we got the devil underneath could be a capricorn this is something you don't see. It could be some, this could be that someone is obsessing over you. Or overdoing something. This this is something that you're not seeing. Okay, let's go on to the next row. What else we have here for you guys, Aquarius? Okay, now we have <clears throat> King of Coins. Stable, reliable, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Let me get a charm on this person. Could be another person coming in, or could be your energy. Oh, <clears throat> we have the strainer. Straining out the truth. Um, getting down to the truth. I think this person... <clears throat> okay, they want to talk to you. <clears throat> oh. <coughs> oh, I'm sorry. I feel so clogged. Oh, my God. <clears throat> this person really wants to talk to you. Okay, they're having a hard time <clears throat> and figure out the words they want to say. They're going through, I feel like the strainer, they're going through, they're, they're fine-tuning what they're going to say. They're tweaking it. They're straining out the wrong things. <clears throat> okay, so this person definitely wants to talk. They could be a boss. They could be someone that's doing well financially. <clears throat> Very um, secure, stable, reliable. <clears throat> they just can't. Oh my God, my, my, it feels like my throat chakra is closing up. This person is really doesn't know how to talk to you. <clears throat> is, don't, they, see, I can't even get my words out. They don't know what to say. They don't know how to phrase this properly to make sure they say it correctly so they don't say the wrong thing, put their foot in the mouth because they're so, so nervous. <clears throat> Boy, that was, that was really, this person is really stuck because my, my throat just closed up. Whoa. <laughs> Let's see what else we get on this. Oof. Wanting a new begin. Aries and um Aquarius. I can't I couldn't even think of your sign. See, this is what the person does when they think about you. They want a new begin. They get stuck. They're, it almost feels like their brain stops or their thinking stops. It's like they they get really stuck. Okay. Let's see what else we get here. 
commitment. They definitely want commitment. They want to be loyal to you. They want to take their mask off. They want to show their hand. Wow. This person wants to lay their cards on the table. And they want to tell you they want this long-term commitment. And they want this to come they want this to move fast. And I do think that once they do they can if they can oh, I can't even put my words together. This person is so stuck. Once they do get their words out, get their words going, once they know that once they get this beginning with you and they express themselves and um they might I don't know, this person might be doing pretty well here with the ten of coins. Could also this could also could be your energy that you're for some of you you could be starting something brand new and doing really well, going into position that is really financially um, good for you in a leadership role or in it could even be doing something with finance in the finance department, something to do with banking. Oh my God! But I I feel like more of the other energy. But someone, if there's not someone coming towards you, it's your energy doing quite well and things moving along quickly. If it's this person. After a while, you know, when things get started, the communication go back and forth and there'll be a lot of communication. Like this person will be constantly calling you or texting you or emailing you back and forth. Let's see what's under the bottom here. Ooh, Seven of Swords. What do you say about this? This, this energy feels almost... I don't I think this person hid something in the past and they have something that they still have hidden and they're gonna have to open up about it they know it they know see this how this sword is shining I'm, I'm noticing that they're gonna have to tell you about this they can't jump into it as soon as they meet you but or see you again but they are gonna they're gonna tell you something that has been hidden from you <clears throat> okay why do we have the king of coins here why do we have the king of coins here Okay, this person feels very stuck. They don't know what to do, how to approach you, what to do, what to say. Mentally confused, stuck here. Okay, what about this um, full card? But wanting to move things along quickly here. Wanting things, I mean, this person wanted to do this a long time ago. They want to charge ahead. They want to move ahead. Cancer energy. They want this new beginning quickly, very quickly. Okay, what about the Ten of Coins? You make them very happy, Leo energy. There might be a child involved here, or it might be just that a happy new beginning would really be great. They, and I feel like they want to come to you fully um, open, fully like not hiding anything. Even though they have this energy, this this is eventually going to come out. Whatever this is that they're hiding, but they want to open up to you. I feel like this this baby being this child being bare is they're coming here this is how I am I want to just totally be open and honest with you okay what about this um eight of wands nine of cups wishes and dreams and hopes fulfilled here you are their wish come true they really want to express this to you wheel of fortune divine time and destiny they feel like you guys are destined to be together and they want to express that to you well, I get some serious heartburn now. I think this person physically feels nauseous or ill or something when they think of how to do this, how to approach you. Wow. I, you know, I personally do not get heartburn. And I'm experiencing that right now with this reading. Oof. Okay. Let's see what else we get. Let's get another row in here. Can't leave it there. Let's see what else. Oh, I feel like I want to burp too. Okay, something wants see something has to come out, something has to be expressed. Okay, let's see. They want a partnership, they want to work together, they want to I'm getting I keep on getting the word express, express, express. Hidden rooms, hidden things. This feels like this relationship only went to a certain point and then it stopped. This person has a lot of regret because they didn't push forward. They didn't 
They just let things be. They didn't. They did not make the effort. They want to work on things now. They regret not making the effort, not moving things forward. Or wow. Um, I never noticed before, but this makes sense to anybody. There's a C letter here, and there's an M here. So that makes sense to anybody here. Um, I know it has meaning. I'll have to try to find out what the meaning is here. Um, and for someone, I'm getting peppers and a banana. Oh, maybe it's banana peppers. Peppers and bananas? Does that <laughs> oh, that is really strange. But this person feels like they want to take a firm hold of this. They want, they want to take control of this. And they want to do what they didn't do before. Okay. Wow. That card had a lot to say right now. <laughs> what else we have here? Okay, now we have the match, the Queen of Swords. I, I feel like they see you as a Queen of Swords, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini, that they have to come towards you correctly. You're holding up your sword. You want this. This is a sword of truth. This is also the, the fact that, wow, it feels like... Things should have happened in the spring. Now we're almost in the summer here in the States. And this person is getting annoyed because they're running out of time. They should have did this in the spring. Something about the spring was important. Okay. Let me get a charm on this. Oh, open heart. They have a lot of love for you. <clears throat> they want to be very open. I keep on getting, they want to be open. They have to be open. They can't be closed off. They are closed off in the past. They cannot be closed off. They're very attracted to you. Let's see. They know you have options. They're worried about these options. They're worried that... Oh, this person is worried at, at the that you could turn... On a dime and be in a whole another area. I feel like this person is really thinking. If they haven't already, they're thinking of moving towards you and and living near you. But they are afraid that all of a sudden when they get there, you'll be gone. If that makes any sense. That you can... Because they don't really know what you're doing, what you're up to. They're very confused about this. They said, I can move there towards Aquarius. And then find out that Aquarius has gone. Wow. Or move down with somebody else. Let's see what else we have here. Temperance. Balance things out. Sagittarius. Very strong Sagittarius it feels like too. Or just the idea this person really needs to balance things out. They realize that now. They didn't realize. It. Almost felt like they had a very immature um, mentality before. They didn't really. They didn't consider tomorrow. They did in one sense. But never like tomorrow and tomorrow after and the tomorrow, just tomorrow like okay what are we going to do tomorrow but not what are we going to do 10 years now 20 years for 30 years from now that was never the way this person thought and we have here the four of swords they think about you a lot at night very heavy at night when they're sleeping they can't they don't like to close their eyes because in comes you and it's been like these sores feel like they feel like they actually penetrate in this this night here in this right now this person feels a lot of heartache they feel this three of swords that happened between you two the breakup the the pain and they're holding on to a sword here they sort of try to protect themselves from this pain i think they also meditate try they're trying to figure out their answers here they do a lot of thinking okay now, why do we have the three of coins here? Why do we have the three of coins here? They want to come with an offer here. Now, see, they're coming as a page. I don't, I think that is one of the problems here. They're immature or it feels like, I don't know if this person has grown up yet. If it's been a long time, this long time between you guys. It almost feels like 
this person still acts a little immature. They, I don't know. I almost feel like they love you. They want to offer you their cup. They might even want to offer your apology. But for some reason, they still don't get it sometimes. And they want to come to you all dressed up, looking good. And like that matters more how they appear, how they, you know, how they look rather than what they bring to the table here. I don't know. Even though they want to work real hard on this. Let me, oh, let me get a charm. What is this? What is this? Oh, the dragon. The dragon is protection, strength, courage. You're trying to get the courage, trying to come in, trying to come in with passion and but also they want they they're trying to protect themselves at the same time so that's why they're having a hard time figuring out how to approach you because they, they want to be very protective but they want to have and they want to be brave but then they might come off as this page wow okay let's see why do we have the queen of swords here oh this card's popping okay look what wants to pop okay Page of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Another page, though. Kind of immature energy, I feel. Okay, so they're coming here with an offer. They might bring you a gift. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Say, so almost feels like well, we have a snowflake here. Okay, when I see a snowflake, I think they're gonna probably tell you you're one of a kind. No one's quite like you. You're just so unique, and um, and I think they're coming in with a lot of. Um, praise and they're also coming in to show you something here this this page is showing off this pinnacle it's like look what I have look what I can give you look what I can offer and I don't think you're so much into that you want someone that's going to be true and honest and not what they can give you or what they can offer you okay what about this seven of cups Okay, here we have this person taking a time out or they're really reflecting on this. This this three of swords is bothering them and that's the fact that the three of swords, the breakup, gave you the options to for more people to be available to more people and they don't like that. Okay, what about this temperance? And they think about that a lot. They think about the three of swords a lot. Okay, see they're trying to balance things out. They're they are very they are very worried about the competition. And here, it, it's weird how we got both cards here of trying to, like, balance things out, trying to be patient, trying to be quiet. But they have this confusion here, and they and this confusion is also leading to this five of wands. Again, change of what's going to go on with this. What is there other people around? Am I have to? Am I going to have to fight for this? And I think they think they do. And then we have the courage with the um, strength card here. Having the courage to go forward. Now, we started with the courage here and we ended. And they're hiding this. They're hiding this trying to get their strength up here. They're, they're really trying not to let you see how hard it is for them. Okay, um, let me do what's the word here. What's the word? Let's see. We have the Knight of Wands. Let's see the Knight of Wands. Now, there could be a couple different people. I almost feel like that, I'm feeling like this person is like taking over this whole reading. So, I almost feel like they could be going through these different, um, almost like play acting. Should I come across fast and impulsive and just, you know, come in there? Or should I come and be very um, uh, intellectual, try to take control of the situation, do this? Or should I come in and be more like puppy dog? Maybe they'll like it better that way and be like a... I almost feel like this is all this one person's energy, but for some of you, it could be different people too coming in because I think there are other people interested in you. So whichever it resonates, I don't know. It's very confusing. The energy feels like this person wants to take on all these different energies at once to build themselves up to be the perfect, perfect person for you. That everything you're looking for and all these other people, they want to have all within themselves here. Okay, let's do the page of wands. We have, oh, these all... I wanted to drop one off and didn't want. I wanted to get rid of want, and want would not want, would not drop because I had it way right over here. I said, "Nope, it want, <laughs> want didn't want to go." <laughs> and we have finances, spying, 
denying. Whew. Okay, I almost feel like this person's watching. Now, this is not going to be for everyone, but I, for some of you, I feel like this person is spying on you, they're watching you, and they're going to be not denying that they wanted you for money. I don't think they really did. And maybe it seemed that way. Maybe they weren't paying for things or weren't doing things, but I don't really see it that way for them. So now, um, but they do want you. Because the want would not leave. It's like I was trying to make it drop and it wouldn't leave. So maybe if it did drop, we would just have spying, denying finances. Or they might be denying that something about their finances, hiding something. But there is a the want card. I'm going to just have it like that because I really feel like this. They did want to not want to leave. <laughs> okay, what about the king of swords? Love. The end. Feelings. Okay, this person is feeling like you have lost your loving feelings for them. It's the end of it. And they're trying to bring it back. Okay, if it feels different for you guys, you know, move around so it makes sense to you. Okay, what about... Okay, the king of coins here. What about this king of coins? We have... Apology. Put that that way. Married. Reunite. Okay, they want to come to apologize. They want to reunite with you. They might want to marry you. They could be married. Or you were married to them and you broke up and you want to come back to reunite. I feel for some that they want to apologize and they want to reunite and they want to be married to you. But so if you've already been married, then that makes sense too. So just, but that's the way I was like, feeling like the card like I look at the I look at these words and I like I see them move on their own and that's when I when I move in that way so that's the way I see that fits but whichever way it works for you guys okay now this page of cups finish will you Ooh, sex I, now this is I almost like after they finish talking to you will you want to have sex <laughs> now that could be a very immature energy yes okay maybe if you do have sex with them after they have sex they might ask you to marry them or will you something I don't know guys okay again we can arrange that how it makes sense uh, here goes my voice again okay what about the page of pentacles Almost feels like maybe this think it, person's thinking when they come towards you and they apologize, then there's going to be makeup sex or something. Once they finish talking to you, once they finish romancing you. <laughs> okay, let's see about the page of pedicles. We have present, change, closure. So in the, oh wait, we have two here, okay. You know, I was focusing on this page of pentacles, so I'm going to keep it here because that's what my energy would focus on, but I should have done the queen. So let's see. So this person could be bringing you a present. They're hoping they'll change things, and they're, they're hoping there'll be closure. Or they want to change things in the present time for closure. Okay, let's do the queen of swords. Jealousy keeps the money important. Okay, now for somebody, it's they're jealous, but it's important that someone keeps the money. Maybe they might tell you to keep the money. Or maybe it's important that they keep the money. Okay, the, now again, this may or may not resonate with you. Take if it resonates, leave if it doesn't. Okay, this has gone pretty long, so I'm going to have to... St I'll stop it here because I don't want to make these too long for you guys. So let's go right into the... What signs could be possible here? What are the signs? We have Gemini. Pisces. Cancer. Gemini. Sagittarius and Aries. 
Okay, because these placements in your chart placement other people's charts, past, present, and future people. So we have Gemini, Pisces, Cancer, Gemini, Sagittarius, and Aries. Now for the letters. We'll do 11 letters. It'll be for initials. So we'll have first initial, last initial. If you get the first and last, you know someone's middle, you get that all the better. Past, present, future people, and also your own initials. We have K, Z, K, L, Z, F, T, L, P, S, oh, S and, I, and the S jumped over to C, so if you need an Z, it's there too, okay, and W, okay, so we have K C K L Z F T L P S C W and um those are your letters. Now let's do the names. What names we have for you guys? What are the names? What are the names? Let's see. What are the names? Okay, we have Kelvin. K-E-L-V-I-N, Sebastian, okay, Paisley, Cherise, C-H-R-E-E-C-E, -E -E. we have Laya, L-I-A, Jessica, Maya, M-A-Y-A, Stephen, Ra Rachel, it's spelled R-A-E-C-H-E-L-L-E, -E -L -L -E. have Thimby, T-H-E-M-B-I, uh, Lativa, L-A-T-I-F-A, oh, F, let me do that again, L-A-T-I-F-A-H, we have Corin, C-O-R-R-Y-N, Rose, and Kayla, K or Carla, sorry, K-A-R-L-A, -A. so those are the names, okay guys, remember these are general reasons, they're not personal reasons, please take what resonates, leave what doesn't, please let me know if anything resonates, please leave comments, I'd love to read your comments, I love you guys so much. I appreciate all your likes, shares, subscribes, and comments. And I hope to see you all again real soon. Thank you.